Good evening. Welcome to a new episode of Physical Media Format here on the Movie Dogs channel. And you are looking at a 1999 release, VHS release of Young Frankenstein, Mel Brooks' uh, classic, classic comedy. One of his great comedies next to, uh, I have to say, Blazing Saddles. Matter of fact, I think they both came out in the same year, back to back, uh, year apart. Can't remember exactly, but uh, star Gene Wilder, Peter Boyle, Terry Gard, Buddy Philman, and the, the very multi-talented Mel Brooks in a few cameos. And uh, it's uh, it was one of those uh, things. Uh, also, Madeline Kahn, as you can see right here. Uh, this movie was just absolutely funny. This movie was basically treated kind of like a sequel to uh, Frankenstein of the 1940s. Uh, but at, um, as a matter of fact, it was shot just like uh, Young Frankenstein, black and white. Uh, and they used the actual sets and um, props that were used in the uh, movie. Uh, this movie was just funny as hell. I just absolutely love this movie. This, I, you know... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I, I can remember as a kid watching it for the first time when it came on TV, and I can just remember laughing. Uh, every time they would yell, Bruca, and the horse would, uh, would scream. And, uh, you know, Madeline, uh, not Madeline Kahn, but, uh, Cloris Leachman, who played Bruca. Uh, she was, uh, Frankenstein's girlfriend, as she would say. Uh, but anyway, it was just absolutely funny. I know they, uh, there's just so much about this movie. I, I could talk all all day about it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to discuss about the VHS itself. You can see this is not the original poster. Um, it's more of a generic version of the poster. Uh, you can uh, see that the only thing original is uh, the font of the uh, young Frankenstein, the castle, and uh, Gene Wilder. I don't know if I said and Gene Hackman earlier, but uh, Gene Hackman is in the movie too. He's a blind man. But, um, uh, but, uh, you know, the original poster, just look it up. You'll see the difference and everything. Actually, Peter Boyle was right in that spot, right where, uh, Buddy Comet is. But, um, anyway, uh, and it's true to say one of the funniest comedies of all time. That is very true to this film. Uh, you can see there's the, uh, fonts right up there. Uh, same on the side. Got, uh, Buddy Feldman. They're, um, they started calling it uh, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. They stopped calling it Fox Home Entertainment sometime in the late 90s. Uh, it's a special edition, which has got some uh, speech, uh, special features on it, which uh, was rare for most uh, VHSs. A lot of them didn't. Here's the back. That uh, scene right here, as you can see, is uh, everybody. Uh, that was supposed to be an alternative ending, you know, where it was uh, for the credits that uh, Gene, uh, Gene Hackman. Uh, that uh, Mel Brooks was going to do. Uh, everybody was welcome to walk down the stairs and then they were going to be their uh, title of their name and credits and stuff like that in front of the uh, as they walked by. So, but uh, I don't know if you can see, there's the uh, the credits right there in uh, blue. You can see it real well. Hopefully, in the lighting, that'll bring it out. But anyway. Uh, New York Times called it a monster riot, which is funny. I mean, it's it's very you know, nowadays you know there's a lot of comedy horror films out there. You know, Shaun of the Dead is one that comes to mind. Um, but uh, you know, you can see the film was in black and white. You can see some of the uh, photoshops from um, parts of the film. But um, and we'll take a look at the uh, cassette itself, the old style sticker. That was uh, known for uh, the 20th Century Fox had for most of the 90s. So the uh, blue and green, and then the FBI warning, and then of course the Fox logos. Which now 20th Century Fox is now 20th Century Studios, since it's owned by Disney. Don't be surprised if Young Frankenstein gets remade. Disney loves remaking. Uh, and probably be on Disney Plus or Hulu or something like that. Who knows? But anyway, uh, again, you know, this movie was just absolutely funny as hell. And um, I highly recommend it during this holiday season uh, for, uh, well, throughout the holiday. Again, it's funny year-round, but especially during uh, the month of October, being Halloween and all and everything, it'd be perfect. 
for a good alternative for you know horror films so anyway folks just wanted to give a quick review uh, there's gonna be more uh, videos to come here on uh, physical media format when it comes to uh, the horror genre and um, for this uh, month so be sure to uh, like this video share subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet uh, you know hit that thumbs up get us up in those numbers and always you know remember physical the physical format and everything is very important to keep you know digital is cool and all and everything but you know streaming you know sometimes you know you will get those bugs in your system and everything and you know one one night you're out of uh your TV's down who knows you know your system's down got nothing to watch so hold on to your physical formats so all right folks well also want to give a quick uh shout out to uh a new sponsor uh to Bossic Collection so go there uh at uh, mybossetcollection.com slash helen.lore so check that out uh, support my sponsors folks and everything there they really uh, they deserve it and everything good people alright folks so that's uh, that's it now for uh, physical media format and uh, thanks for watching and please keep watching bye